Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing really good. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is a HP Elite Book 840 G5 laptop motherboard and this motherboard is totally dead. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is a motherboard part number. So first thing first, I need to check main power rail which is uh, 19 volt. So let's check this current sense register here. Okay, it's clear. Then I need to check here one of this pad. pad. Okay, this also clear. So now I will plug in and uh, look at my power supply. It's not taking any ampere. And this light only orange light is blinking only so let's check some required voltage so at first i need to check 19 volt okay it's present then i need to check here 12.5 this also good next i will check 3 volt and 5 volt all those voltage uh, 3.3 volt always present next I will check 5 volt ok as you can see 5 volt is not present here so now I will check evidence first there is any short or not So as you can see, there is a full shot. So before I inject power, before I inject voltage, I will uh, disconnect this pad. So after disconnect, so I can confirm which side is short. This side or this side. So let's open this pad. Mm -hmm. Let's put some flux on it. Need to use soldering wick here. Okay, it's open now. It's open now. Uh, if I found short this side, so then I need to replace this IC. If I found this side, then I will inject a voltage from my power supply and then I will try to find out which part is getting hot. Then I just need to remove or replace that part, then this board is in working condition. So, let's check first. Okay, there is no short. So, as you can see here. This side is short. So, before inject voltage, let's connect power supply again. Check here. As you can see, you have 5 volt present now. So, this side is clear. So, I need to inject uh, voltage from my power supply in this side. And then I will try to find out which parts it's getting hot. Here, this side is clear. So, this side is beeping, so I'm going to inject voltage here, so I set my power supply 2.2 volt, ground is ground, Let's inject here, and as you look at my power supply, it's uh, taking 5 amps, that means this is fully short. Okay. this secondary IC is getting hot so let's check first okay let's put some smoke here this side because uh, as you can see here 
this uh, capacitor this is very tiny capacitor one and two it's, uh, connected to with this secondary IC so this capacitor also can be short so I'm not sure and um, this capacitor look like faulty so I'm going to put some uh, smoke here solder smoke uh, here then I can uh, easily identify so as you can see one and two capacitor connected with this uh, secondary IC so one of those capacitor can be short so I can guess this capacitor is faulty it's look like faulty so let's put some smoke here unfortunately my uh, microscope camera stopped working and that's why I can't uh, record this uh, process so now I will show you with the other video as you can see here this is a secondary IC and uh, one and two uh, capacitor connected with this IC so this uh, capacitor was uh, faulty this capacitor this capacitor was shorted so I just replace this capacitor and this board is ok so let's open this capacitor with my soldering iron okay. Oops, some plugs here. Clean a little bit. This is done. Let's clean this area. And then we connect this pads here. It's done. Let's check ambidance again. As you can see, no more short, no more beeps, no more well. That means this line is clear. And now I'm going to plug in again and let's see what's happening. So plugged in and it's turning on. So I have 5 volt here. So it's done. So it's time to check. So we need to wait for a few seconds to see the HP logo. Okay, we have HP logo and it's done. So it successfully fixed this laptop. So 
I hope you all are enjoyed this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon if you already subscribed my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Until then, stay well. Bye bye.